hello viewers welcome to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to draw this 3d model step by step i will show you how to easily create the necessary geometries for this pocket and make them parametric in some way using expressions let's go open your free cut and let's get started First, I will create an empty document. I will press empty file option. I will design the model using the part design workbench. I will add a part design body object to the review. And next, I will create my first sketch attached to the axis plane. I will click in the create sketch icon and select axis plane. I am on the sketch workbench. First, I will select the grid arc by three points available in the sketch jump. So I'll go to arc tools, expand the tools, and select the arc by three points. And now I will click on the vertical axis and now on the horizontal axis and create this arc. And I will create another arc here in this way. And next I will select the polling tool, click on this endpoint and press M three times to use a normal line. Now I create this geometry, now a horizontal line and next this line here and the vertical line, horizontal line. And now I click on here to close this geometry and also I'm going to select the polling tool and close the geometry here now I will select this line here and come over to sketch uh, constraint horizontal and vertical and select constraint vertical drag this point to here and next zoom out and go to these two points here select the two points and place a uh, constraint constant and now I will select this point and the vertical axis and click in constraint constant next i will select the dimension tool and click on this line here and set the length of two millimeters this line and this line here i'm going to create the angle of seven degrees uh, next to this line here i'm going to constrain to i'm going to set two millimeters this line here will be six millimeters Skip the tool and now drag this to here and next to this point to here. Select the dimension tool, zoom in here, click on this point and now on the origin nexus, create a vertical distance of 10 millimeters. Okay, next skip the tool and drag this line to here and this point to here and this point to here. Okay. Dimension tool, next, this point and this point here, a uh, vertical, this is of 15 millimeters. And next, from this point to this point here, a uh, vertical, this is of 17 millimeters. Okay, now from this point to this point here, a uh, horizontal, this is of 40 millimeters. 2 degrees of freedom as you can see next I will select this point on the vertical axis and set 52 millimeters okay next I will go to question horizontal and vertical and now I select this last option this point and this point here and now the sketch is full constrained I will close the sketch and next use the revolution tool to create a salt and now I press ok here next I will create another sketch but now attach it to the xy plane for these shapes here I will click in create sketch icon and select xy plane switch to the session view select the external jump tool and extra this edge here zoom out and zoom in here and next I select the cycle tool I create a small cycle here and next I use the grid arc by three points and I create these two arcs in this way. Okay, and now I will create another arc here starting from this point. Click on this point and now click on this extracted edge. Next I will select the trim tool, zoom in and trim this arc here. Skip the tool, zoom in here. As you can see there are problems here I will drag this line okay and delete these two constraints here uh, these two constraints and I so I select the two points and place a constraint constant now I select the constraint tangent and I make this arc here tangent to this one and this arc to this arc and now this arc tangent to this extracted edge 
this arc and this extra dead edge. 5 degrees of freedom. Okay, next I'm going to select the cycle tool, click on this center point and set the diameter of 10 millimeters for this. Next I select the dimension tool, I click on this arc here and I set 12 millimeters. Okay, and now this arc here I'm going to set a resolve 32 millimeters and then select equal constraint and make this arc equal to this arc here. Next, I select the dimension tool. I click on the center point and I will set a vertical distance of 7 millimeters for this center point. As you can see, now I have one degree of freedom. What I'm going to do now is to select the equal constraint and click on this arc here and now on this extracted edge. And now the sketch is full constrained. I close the sketch and next I go to the path tool. And now what I'm going to do is to set 6 millimeters here for this extrusion and check reverse it and now I have this. As you can see I have a small problem here. I will press OK here and next I will attach the sketch of this pad here in this face. To do that I will go to the pad operation, expand the tree, select the sketch, right click and select attachment editor option and now click in here go to model and let's make this let's make the revolution visible click on this icon okay click on this button and i'll select this face here and okay now refresh the document and we have the extrusion here okay Next, I will select the path and go to and go to polar pattern. Change the number of occurrence to four occurrence and OK. Here is the model. The next thing that I'm going to do is to create a sketch attached to the XY plane for these pockets here. OK, in my document, I will create a new sketch and the XY plane. Double click. Now here I'm going to switch to the session view and also I'm going to hide this model here. For that I will go to model tape and click on this icon. I will change to construction geometries and select cycle. Click on the origin axis and set a diameter of 6 millimeters for this cycle. Change to normal geometries and hide these constraints here. Select the slot tool. And now I will create this slot here with these dimensions. Okay, dimension tool and click in this arc, click off and set a resolve 0.75 millimeters. Okay, here I have this. I will skip this tool and drag this slot to here. Hide all constraints, double click. First, I will select this geometry, this slot geometry, this way. And I'll click in this tool here, Array Transform. I'm going to increase the number of copies to 11. Uh, now I'm going to click in here and click off. And now, as you can see, I have this. What I'm going to do next is to delete this all radial dimensions. I will go to Constraints and scroll down here until I find this constraint here. I will select this constraint and scroll up here and now I will shift select this constraint here and delete. Okay, now I will make all constraints visible. As you can see, I still have the radio 0.75 millimeters for this slot here. Okay, I will hide all constraints, select this arc, this one, this arc and this arc and make them equal. Press equal constraint. And now I have this. Now I'm going to drag this slot to here. Okay. And select the constraint constant and make this point constant to the vertical axis and also constant to this cycle. Okay, here I have this. Next I'm going to hide this all constraints here. To do that, I will press two times in this icon. And next I will select the dimension tool and what I'm going to do is to zoom in here, click on this point and now in the center point and create a horizontal distance of 
I will say 2.8 millimeters and also I will set a name for this dimension I will say distance and also on the task panel constraints I will look at the radio dimension this one here double click and I will set a name for this I will set radius I will say radius and enter and now that I have this I'm going to apply this dimension to all of these slots here I will zoom in, select this point, and now this point here, click off and press equal to call the expression editor. Here I'll say dot constraints and I will select this dimension distance. I will press OK here. Also, I will copy the expression of this length here to the clipboard. I will press this icon and copy this expression to the clipboard, Control C and now OK and OK here. OK, now using the dimension tool, I will press this center point and now the center point, click off to create a horizontal distance and now I will press equal and pass the expression here and now enter, enter and enter and now I have this. If I double click on this dimension, as you can see, I have 2.8 millimeters. This distance here. If I press the expression editor icon, as you can see, I have this expression. I will press OK here and OK here and call the dimension tool again. And place this all distance equal. Control V, enter and enter. I will do the same thing for these all center points. Okay, as you can see, I have these all dimensions. Okay, and now I will hide these all constraints. For that, I will press this icon two times. Okay, and now I will use the constraint constant and constrain this point to this cycle. This point to this cycle, I will do the same for these all center points of these slots. Okay, I will zoom in here, select this point and this cycle. This point and this cycle, the same thing here. And for this geometry here, I can, I will delete it. I will select the geometry. I will select the geometry and hit delete. And now I have this. I will drag this, as you can see. I will select this. I will select this arc and this one here and place equal constraint. And now I will close the sketch and make this polar panel operation visible by pressing this icon. And now I will select this sketch. With the sketch selected, I will click on the pocket tool, change the type to foregoal and check smear to plane option. As you can see, I have this. I will press OK to finish this. And the next thing that I'm going to do is to mirror this pocket in this side. For that, I will select the pocket and click in mirror tool of part sign workbench. As you can see, I have this. Press OK. And now, as you can see, I have this. This is exactly the same model that I have in this document. Now, let me show you what you can do with these dimensions that we created for the radius and the distance. OK, I will zoom in here and rotate the view. I will go to the sketch of this pocket. Expand the tree, select the sketch 002, and now I will go to data. Scroll down to sketch, click on constraints. As you can see, I have radius and distance. These are the dimensions that I created in this sketch here. Now, for example, if I change the radius to, for example, 0 0.5 and enter, I will close the start page. As you can see, I have this. If I decrease here to 0 0.25 millimeters, for example, as you can see, I have this. Now I will increase to 1 millimeter to see what happens. As you can see, I have this. Also, I can increase this distance here. I will say, for example, 3 millimeters. And I have this, as you can see. Okay, I will reset here to 0. Point, I will say 0. 0.8 and here I will change to 2.85 millimeters and it's all okay. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. If you want to support the content of the channel, you can do that. Just go to the description of the video and you'll find a link to the channel's Ko-Fi page. Or you can support the channel buying the books that's appearing on the screen now. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.